All right, welcome back to the Simple Driver channel. My name is Calvin. Today we're going to be talking about the 10 reasons Uber drivers are failing. Now, most of you know that I started this channel a little over two and a half years ago, and I got to be honest with you, it has been a blessing and an absolute honor to be able to talk to thousands of you nationwide to find out what you're doing in order to be successful on the platform. But more importantly, I've been able to find out 10 reasons, the top 10, I should say, because there's several, but the top 10 reasons why Uber drivers are failing. And I've never did a video like this, so I decided to do it today. Now, I've been able to speak to you guys through comments, obviously, through uh, text messages, emails, and I've even spoke to hundreds of people through coaching. So I'm narrowing this down to the top 10, and I'm fairly confident that these are the top 10 uh, because I have a bunch of data to back it up. Now, the first one, we're gonna, I'm gonna jump right into this, and I gotta apologize, please excuse my drawing. I'm not very creative at all. I don't draw very well, but I did my best here to make this look good to get my point across because the information is important. But so I want to start with number one here. Number one is people are signing up to become a driver on the Uber platform and they think that Uber is just a ride share company. And that is not true. If you actually go to Google and I have my laptop here and it looks a little weird me doing that. Why, why don't you have your phone, Calvin? It's because when you look up Uber on the cell phone in Google, it doesn't show it. Maybe Google Amp is involved or something like that to make it faster. But if you look up on your laptop or your desktop, you will see that in Wikipedia, it shows here Uber Technologies Incorporated. Now, I'm going to stop right there. Uber is a technology company that operates a peer-to-peer ride-sharing platform under its umbrella along with other companies and it names them here um, subsidiaries uber eats which means that uber technologies and uber eats they those are two different things okay uber eats auto razor jump bikes and more now i'm not going to go into that i want you to guys to go and look this up yourself and actually read what those subsidiary companies do but i will tell you this up under the technology umbrella of uber which is is auto and I believe it's, uh, I can't remember the other one. You just click the more and it tells you. But I want to tell you this. Uber is worth billions of dollars now. But I got to be honest with you when I tell you that it hasn't even started making the type of money that it's really going to make as it develops its technology. The money is really going to be made through its autonomous driving and its navigational uh, technology and its GPS technology. And it's not just Uber leading the way in that. It's also Google is also Lyft, uh, Tesla, and I believe also Volvo. Autonomous driving is coming whether you like it or not, and Uber is a technology company that is in the forefront of that. They're, they stand to make probably a trillion dollars, and that, I'm not exaggerating that, okay? Now, why is it important? Uh, I got some notes here, and I might as well keep my laptop up here even though it looks weird. Why is it important for you to know that Uber is a technology company and not just a rideshare company? Because technology improves communication. Technology increases and improves efficiency. It saves time and it saves money. Think about it. Google, I mean, not Google, geez. Uber has been increasing its technology more and more. It's been pushing the boundary. So the application updates that it's been bringing, it's because it took a while for it to uh, mine all the data from the drivers on their platform and all the requires, uh, the riders requesting rides. But they have all that information. It's a technology company, so they're taking and they're developing technology to handle all those requests and all those issues. Does it take time? Yes. Is everything going to be perfect? Hell no. But it is important to know that is a technology company. So stop getting upset, stop blowing a gasket, stop getting you know, high blood pressure. It's gonna be okay. And another reason too, just a you know, quick note, you, uh, is in why it's important for you to know that it uh, is a technology company is because you might wanna start saving your coins because trust me, you're gonna wanna invest in Uber uh, one day and not investing in you know, time and being a partner with them. But I'm talking about in the stock market because they are gonna go public one day. All right now, Let's talk about number two. Let me put this laptop down because it's a little bit heavy. All right, let's talk about number two. You see this little bitty, tiny, teeny bitty bitty Y? That says Y if you can't see that. And it's little tiny, it's, it's small, it's weak, it needs to go to the gym three times a week. Your Y is not big enough, okay? 
A lot of people who sign up to become drivers on the Uber platform, they have this little teeny bitty why, and that why usually looks like this. Why are you driving on the, you know, why did you become an Uber driver? And the answer is somewhere between something like, oh, I just want to go get tickets to the Travis Scott concert or the Taylor Swift, or I want to buy some Jordans, or, you know, so I just need a little extra gas money on the side. That is a very small, weak why. And let me tell you something. When somebody throws up in your vehicle, that why goes away really fast and you're off the platform. And that's when you start getting a bunch of complaints and a bunch of people quitting, not on Uber, because Uber could care less, but quitting on yourself. You have to have a strong why. That why has to be massive. Let me give you an example of one of my whys when I first started driving on the platform. My wife and I wanted to make sure that we brought our daughter home so that she can be privately homeschooled. Why did we want to do that? Because she is actually now in the fourth grade, but she is now testing on a fifth and sixth grade level. We knew that it was going to be better for her. She's going to have better education. See how big my why is when somebody and somebody did throw up in my vehicle, but when they throw up in my vehicle, I clean that shit up and I keep it moving because my why is very big. What is your why? How big is your why? Don't get a puny why. Number three, let's talk about number three, my year right. Most of you don't believe that you are a business owner, okay? You are. Understand that you do not work for Uber. I mentioned this before, but let me get into more detail. You run your business, Uber runs their business, and you are just partners. They're partnering with you in order to provide a service to people and you're partnering with them to use their technology to make money. You are a business owner. Now, why is it important to know that you are a business owner and to get excited about that when you wake up and you get your butt in that vehicle and you go drive? Here's why. Let me tell you, being a business owner offers time freedom. You guys know that, but let me break it down. It offers you flexibility to conquer your dreams. Who are you? What do you want to be? It offers you flexibility and time freedom to go do that. You know what else it offers? Tax benefits. I got videos on that. And you know what else? It business credit, business lines of credit. There's so many more benefits to understanding that you are a business owner and you're not an employee, you don't drive for Uber, okay? And when Uber makes this decision to run their business, it has nothing to do with how you run your business. You are a business owner. It's not yeah right, you are. Trust me, when you get, your, your, when you get ready to do your taxes, you are not filling out a daggone W-2, it is a 1099. Let's talk about this next one here. Not understanding how to, you know, what to do with the money that's coming in. You don't know how to manage your money on the platform. I'm gonna put this down here for a quick second and explain this to you again. Most people, this is what their money looks like when they earn with Uber. It's going this way, going this way. They, they have no idea what to do with it because again, they're not thinking like a business owner. They probably didn't set, you didn't set yourself up as an LLC to take advantage of tax breaks and stuff like that. You don't know how to separate your personal account from your business account and not mixing the two. Some people have a personal and a business account and they use their business debit card to pay for groceries, which is a no-no. I can't get into taxes. I'm not your, not, I'm not a tax guy or whatever, but just trust me, take this stuff serious. Understand what t uh, money management is so that when you earn your money on the platform, you know what you're doing with it so that you can keep more of it. Okay. Let's go here to uh, this one here. And this one is negativity. You're letting too much negativity control you. All right. And so we're going to talk about this here. Let me, I, I made some notes on this one. Uh, let me just find it here. Um, why, why that is important for you not to listen to negativity. All right. So understand that bad news travels right faster than good news. I promise you, I, I run a successful Uber business. I, and I promise you there are more positive things happening on the Uber platform then there are negative things. You guys here, all you negative people want to go out and the news outlets want to go and they want to talk about the shootings and they want to talk about robberies and stuff like that. You know why? Because that stuff evokes emotions. 
right? It invokes our, our two most you know, primal things that we, that we have as humans, which is fear and anger. It, it, get, it pisses people off. It, it gets people scared and stuff like that. But, and it travels fast. There's several good things happening on this freaking platform. Negativity is a cancer. It will destroy you. It will destroy you as a business owner. Get rid of this. Stop paying attention to the negative stuff out there and create more positive energy, not just for you, but for your business and for the people that are around you. This platform, Calvin, you sound like you're kissing a bunch of butt or whatever. No, I'm not. You've never heard any negativity on my channel because I know that it is a cancer and it'll kill your business and it'll kill your income. So I'm not going to do that. So let's talk about this next one. And you guys have heard me talk about this one before. Um, this is time uh, versus money. And what do you mean by that? Trading time for money. All right. Right now, you are getting in your vehicle and you're going out and you're driving and you're totally, totally ignoring the fact that Uber is actually giving you a referral code. I've talked about this so many times. Please, if you don't, there I'm putting a link in the description. Go build an Uber website. Start an Uber website. Why? There's so many benefits to it. Like again, tax benefits and all of that. But what it allows you to do, it allows you to stop trading so much time for money. Let me just give you an example. Let's just say you have a $300 uh, minimum. That's what you need to make this week driving. Okay. What happens when you go out and you start driving and you, you're approaching the $300 mark, which is where you want to be, and a referral comes in and it's $300. Guess what? You just increased your income by 100% and you didn't trade time to do it. Or you start your week and before you even get in your vehicle, the $300 referral comes in, you've made your quota, which is where you want for the, for the week, and you didn't trade any time. You just increased your time value so that you can go do something that you really want to do. What again, what are your dreams? What are your aspirations? What are your goals in life? You got to stop playing around with trade. You will never, if you're on the Uber platform and you think you're going to be successful just driving, I'm telling you, stop doing that. It's not going to happen. You cannot win trading time for money. You will never win. You have to increase your passive income and Uber literally has given you referral code to do that because they know they want to help you offset driving so much in your vehicle. Why are you not taking advantage of that? All right. So let's talk about the next one here, which is sales and marketing. Most of you who are on the platform driving for Uber, right? You're a business owner. You don't understand that you are in sales and marketing. Wait, what? No, Calvin, I just want to drive my vehicle. I just want to get the person from point A to point B. That's fine. But understand you are a business owner. And because you are a business owner, you have to understand all business owners at some point need to know how to do sales and marketing. You are selling yourself. Even though you're providing a service, you're selling yourself. You're selling the service. You never know who you have in your vehicle. Some of you want to be, you're aspiring to be rappers or dancers or, or singers, or some of you want to be professional, you know, engineers or actors or actresses. Guess you never know who you have in your vehicle. You have to sell yourself. You have to market yourself. And guess what? Ding, ding, ding. Having a website makes that 10 times easier because you can send people to them, but I'm not going to drill that in. You just understand that it's, it's good. Let's move on to the next one. Here you see a bunch of social media icons, but let me break it down to you why this is important. We're going to talk about wealth real quick. Understand that many, many years ago, wealth was created through agriculture, right? We were in an agricultural age, which means that people that were, were trading wheat, right? Cows, goats, and all that type of stuff. Farming, that's where millions of dollars was created. Agricultural. We're no longer in the agricultural age, right? We're not doing a bunch of farming and creating, you know, millions like that. We're, we've passed that, all right? From there, we moved into the industrial age, right? Where tall buildings, right? Steel was being created, automotive, right? Henry Ford and all that stuff. People got super rich in the industrial age, but we're, no, we're not there anymore. Move on to the next uh, phase here. 
which was the information age, right? The dot-com era, when a bunch of people made money with dot-coms and stuff like that. We're not even in the information age. L literally, I'm telling you what age we're in. We are in the social age. The money is being created in the social era and the social platforms. If you don't know how to operate socially, okay? Not just on the platforms, but if you don't know how to operate socially, meaning inter your communication, okay? When people get in your vehicle, you turn up your, 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 your music, right? And you're ignoring them and you're, you're just deciding that you're not going to talk to them. That is dumb. You never know who you have in there. You need to be social and you need to know understand sales and marketing and know how to do that inside the social media platforms because that's where the money is. Big Fortune 500 companies and Fortune 100 companies understand this so much to the point they are paying major dollars to influencers. People like myself, by the way, for those of you who don't know, I have five videos that have been sponsored by Uber. And I got to be honest with you, I didn't do that for free. It came with large checks, okay, because I have influence. Who are you again? The question comes out, who are you? Navigate the social media platforms. You have plenty of customers there. Your, your dreams, your aspirations, your goals, everybody that you want to be in contact with are probably on one of these platforms. Now, let me give you a little golden nugget here. Out of these social media platforms, there are two of them that are super, super special, okay? And that is Pinterest and that is YouTube. Calvin, why? Because even though they're on the social media gamut, right? Understand that Pinterest and YouTube are search engines, which means that if you create content inside of these two social media platforms that people are looking for, you get a bunch of recognition, which means my three P's, produce, publish, pro produce good information, publish the information, and you can profit from it, okay? I spent enough time there, let's go ahead and move to the next one. Here, we have uh, people who hit the platform and they're just driving aimlessly. Now, Uber, in their new app update, I did a video about it, and you know, even though it was a sponsored video, I, I really am, uh, you know, impressed with what they've done with the new app update, right? Which is helping drivers, you know, try to navigate to where basically where money is going to be. But let me tell you something. They are not better than you doing this manually, okay? And I have a video on this, you know, you can find it on my channel. But understand, creating your own water holes is how you really make money. Anticipating surges. Calvin, what do you mean Go watch the video. I'll put it in the I'll put it in the description. But basically, what that means is Uber could never know more about your city than you. Here in Atlanta, we have the Creative Loafing. I can pick it up and I can look at several events and I can call a couple. I can call a couple restaurants. I can call a couple hotels and events. I can find out what time this event starts, what time it ends, and I can literally show up 30 minutes early and an anticipate the swell. Right which is where the surge was going, is going to be created. Uber can only pick up the surge when the requests come in because it's a tech company is waiting for the signals. You can anticipate the surge and get a lot more money and create your own water holes. I don't want to go too much into that, but stop driving aimlessly. Understand that you are a business owner and you have to plan. You have to go and do some, some you, you have to go and do some, uh, what am I looking for? The word starts with R, reconstant? No. I can't think of it right now. I'll, I'll put it in the, 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 the description or in the edit, okay? But you have to go recon. That's what I'm looking for. You have to do, you have to do some recon. Go find out where the areas are in your, in, in, your, in your city to find out where the money is. Don't just depend on Uber and their technology. Even though it's good, it still has to wait for the request. All right. The next one and the last one that I want to talk about why drivers are failing on the Uber platform is you don't have an exit strategy okay most of you know that i don't drive anymore and it's not because you know i'm just feel like you know i'm high and mighty or anything like that it's because i had an exit plan and i executed my exit plan to the point to where i make six figures on the uber platform without driving okay what is your exit strategy 
If you are out there and you're driving every single day or every single week and you don't have a plan to exit the platform to do something greater to fulfill your dreams and your goals, you are wasting your time. Oh, okay. You're wasting your time and you are going to fail. All right. So these are the 10 reasons that Uber drivers are failing. These are the top 10, I should say. There's several more, but these are the top 10. Trust me, I've done the analytics. I've went back and looked at my notes from people I've coached and phone calls that I've had with other successful drivers on the platform. And these are the top 10. I hope that this information is sitting well with you. Please leave some comments and let me know which one of these you've been struggling with. Leave comments. I answer the comments, guys. I want to help. It's in my best interest to help you because it does nothing but bless me in the end. Okay? So don't want to make this uh, video any longer than that. Hope it wasn't too long and I, I didn't get too long-winded. My name is Calvin. I'm the Simple Driver. Peace out.